Camera action. So hello, hello. Let's start with the next video. So I would like to do this in this one, a short summary. So what we have done so far. So imported a proper cat geometry. We saw what are the advantage. And also we talk about the STL. Be careful with those STLs. So the main conclusion here is that on your geometry. Then if we move to this tab here, we have different methods. So we have the topology base, which is the most robust one. Okay, it is based in a good cat geometry that we have all features, all edges, everything, okay? And then we have the other method, the string wrap method that mainly I recommend you to use when you have dirty geometries like this STL and recall that we were having some problems there or when you have extremely complicated geometries and you don't want to, to waste time you know, the featuring or clicking in this edge in this small face erasing sense, okay? Because at the end of the day, when you do the mesh, you need to do something that is affordable. Now it's not going to tell, take you one month cleaning or setting parameters. You need to do something like less than one day. So that is the idea is this method that you, you can, it can speed up things a lot but you can lose a lot of information. With this method, can be time consuming, but you are getting everything that you have under no, those surfaces. And sometimes that can be negative. And this is what I want to show you. Now let's move to another geometry here. So this is a very nice case. Is this Sonic Boom just to show you something that I took it from here. This is a workshop done. Now, Vanessa and AIAA, so they have the geometry, very interesting. Uh, I just hope to do it with, with OpenFone, I did it with Fluent. And let's take a look at the geometry. I'm working here with Unshape. And look at that, it's a very nice geometry, but you have a lot of details. Look at that, you have these small fins here, okay? And we can measure that edge, and you can get an idea of the smallest dimension that you already have in your geometry. You will have a small faces. Look at that. Here you have these lines, okay, coming together, converging here, and you are going to have this small face. And now you can get an idea that you use the topology base. You are going to have here an strange triangulation. Might be a problem. You might get low quality there. Who knows? Okay. Then you move here. You have more details. The small gaps there. So these are issues that you have to be aware of. I know that a topology base, it, it might be time consuming, okay? But it will resolve everything. Instead of you use the other method, the stream red, it may happen that you're going to lose a lot of features. So look at that, we have here many hard edges and this might or might not be problematic in topology base. In the stream red, you are not going to see that. And that is what we're going to, to look at now. So this measure that we're, we're looking here is the topology base. So I already did, did it, generated the mesh, and believe it's not that, that time consuming. So let's take a look, look at these things here. So we impose a gap here. So we have gaps, put at least three cells. So this is a little bit some of those advanced options, elements in gap. So we identify that this face can be a mappable surface. We have four vertices and you select that impose that and we'll do it automatically then it trailing edge for those doing this kind of geometry you put in the train edge we stretch a little bit here very nice mesh almost everything done automatically i just had to click in a few surfaces for instance this was one of those surfaces that i had to click to enforce that and then uh you know automatically look at that we'll add you no know, quads where it detects that it's very to add quads uh, to have better quality and reduce the sale count. Look at in the, in the edge, in the leading edge, that is one of the cases that is better to resolve that with quads than triangles. To get the same resol resolution with triangles, that would require a lot of cells there. However, we have some uh, small issues. Okay. Da, 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 da. So for instance here, look at that. You have these very small faces and this is simply because it's following the topology or those hard edges that we have in the geometry. So look at that here. So probably we need to solve this problem. So you can click there and the other edge uh, and you can join those right click. You have different options, join edges and so on. So this is part of the, that work, work that you need to do in a topology base to avoid those problems. But 
this for every means this is a good mesh okay and actually i generate the volume mesh and i get something good okay the quality is not 80 percent or so uh, 70 orthogonal it's something like 84 but it's good to run so this is what we get with a topology base we resolve everything so I'll point out that these are the global parameters that we're using and we're going to use exactly the same values for the string wrap method and when we move to the string wrap method here i just want to point out that it says that it's a, a nice mesh but there are some issues there okay here you have some holes or probably yeah we need to repair that and to avoid this one we need i know i need to reduce you know this resolution here so there are some issues but those that, that no it's not a big deal the most important ones recall that we have here some fins and remember that the tolerance there was 0 0.2 we're using something very large of one and this method as it's kind of wrapping around is missing completely that feature that might be positive might be negative okay this is part of that defeatering so is what we want to defeat the geometry is perfect but in this case it, they are very important it's part of that sonic boom reduction and controlling the shock wave and so on but in the other side if we look at the wind remember that here we have all these features and it's trying to resolve all these lines so here we don't need to waste time cleaning the geometry because it will resolve everything so everything it is a, comp a compromise here in the leading edge also doesn't manage to resolve it very well so you need to add more <clears throat> smaller cell size to resolve that curvature here in theory also this same problem you should see it in the topology base however look at that advantage of using this kind of cells and we show in one video how to enforce that one here and always doing it, doing that automatically but you can also enforce that so what is happening here that to resolve that curvature you need to put a lot of triangle but with this minimum size this is the minimum that you want and you are not resolving that instead using quads we can stretch those quads very large aspect ratio and they are going to add that nicely to the curvatures to resolve that and that is the big advantage still we can gain, gain more accuracy more resolution as we have something smaller but very nice and that is why we want to use those quads in some regions here also finer mesh and so on so we see the difference between both methods can be positive in one case in this case i will judge that it's better to use a topology base however if i go for it with the string red and i know that if i reduce these parameters i will get something much better so at the end of the day it will be up to you okay you have a goal and according to that goal you need just to to manage your time and computational resources and to show you something as well uh this method is really fast since complicated geometry and let me click here and redo this surface mesh i'm using the default parameters and i think it takes less than a minute let's wait if it takes more i will just speed up the video okay there you go so yeah i think less than, than a minute and this is the mesh that we have here perfect mesh even as you use the smaller parameters, it will be quite fast. Now, if we go to the stream rat, same parameters. Okay, I didn't divide it, divide it into, into groups. I didn't need it, but it's the one you can do it. And let me click here. Remember, you click here and to stress something, these two methods that are surface to volume. You first generate the surface mesh and then you start to grow the boundary layer and then the volume mesh. So you have these successive steps surface boundary layer and then volume mesh or is you one you can do everything in one single step enabled there but i'd like to do everything in successive steps so let's use the string wrap i don't want i will i will use the full parameters and if i click here and i know that this method is time consuming so i'm not going to to talk during the whole time i will speed up the video but it takes i don't know like six eight minutes so let's wait okay 
So actually it was much faster than, than expected. It was probably in the same order of magnitude of the topology base. It gets slower if I reduce this value to, to resolve all the features. But now remember that we have two steps. We have this step, this step, string wrap mesh, but then we need to smooth that one. And this step also tends to be a little bit time consuming. So I click there and let's see how long it takes. So you see it takes long and will speed up the video. Okay, so we have a mesh. It was longer than, this step was longer than the topology. So if you add both the steps that you have here and here, it will take like three times more than the topology base. And the mesh is not as nice as, as that one. And then you have these holes here that, that is a problem. So just to demonstrate you, so if you reduce here, let me put zero one, and let me also put here to five. So I know that these parameters work. So what I was saying that usually this string red, it will require a smaller, uh, global parameters and local parameters than the feature base. So I'm halving this and reducing by a lot the minimum to be able to resolve the feature. So let me click here and this one, it will take a while. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, we're back and oh boy, that was time consuming. So yeah, that is the cost that you have to pay when you use you now this string wrap with complicated geometries and you want to, to resolve those features. Now you need to use small values and that will slow down everything. So just to show you that, by the way, I just use this string wrap, this action I did in the little mesh that will be also very time consuming, but very nice resolve, cool, but you're everything. But it's still, you have some defects as expected here in the exits and so on. But generally speaking, it is a way much better improvement than the previous case. But to show you that sometimes there are advantages, disadvantages, you know, between both methods. In this case, I think it's not the best choice. It's better to stay with the topology, topology based method and probably do some cleaning. It's not that hard. You, you have seen that you can do everything uh, in Inova. You need to go back to to the CAT cells. Where, so resolving very nicely curvature here. Okay, much better than in previous case, but it was very time consuming. So at this point, I hope you have a better understanding of the two methodologies. The most important one, the topology base and also the stream wrap method. So generally speaking, I always use the topology base, but in some cases when I have very difficult geometries or are feeling lazy that I don't want to do anything, I just use this one, but I prefer to stay away from this one. But it's up to you. You have seen the advantage disadvantage. There is not a final answer. That final answer will be you as a, as a user. Also, to stress that, remember the method that we're using is surface to volume. So first do the surface mesh, boundary layer as you need it, the inflation layer, and then you grow your volume mesh. And when it comes to volume mesh, you have to solve types, tetra and polyhedra. So then also there is a religion. I really like polyhedral, but tetra cells also that very well to complicated geometry, something like in this one. So that will be up to you. and. We show that we have also this method that is the octree that is experimental that there you have also the exa cells and you can get eventually something similar to, to what you have in a snappy x mesh i'm not be really a big fan of that but yeah that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video uh we're not done we have the final video that we're going to set up the case in this tab okay we have done all this uh static mix here. I just changed to use geometry to show you radical differences. And now we set up the cases. So see you next, next time. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Bye.